Back to work. And um, see, the reason why the technology is so hard to shut down because um, it's uh, Frankenstein's monster. It's uh, Jeffrey Hinton's baby. It's egomaniacs think their brain is them. Okay. The way they see me is like with uh, through Jesus and David and Abraham is just it's, they see it like charismatic cult leader and building, you know, networking and that uh, you cultivate somebody to be a temple for the soul of that network of that, you know, what, what me and David and Jesus and you saw about is it's, you just can't be done. The people aren't good enough to do that. And all the people that are getting us robots and computers to sustain their sinful nature, their I'm going to win. I'm the best. My brain is the best brain ever. I got the bowling ball, the coins in your pocket, you know? And so it's, they're, they're, they're being, it's already been done. Okay, we are post-apocalypse. I redeemed Jesus and Muhammad and corrected all the corporations that murder in their name. It's already been done. I collect all they got thrown into the bowels of hell. Um, the reason why I, I focused on Natalie back in 2017 and 18 of exercising is to protect her family who were set up for genocide operations because they were seen as bad people because Amy and Stephanie are crazy and perverts, which they're not. They're abused by crazy perverts and they try to survive. And then they try to get points of heaven, you know, like my ex-wife is really attracted to my other ex-wife. Okay. And I was, I was sexually attracted to both of them and they were at one time both sexually attracted to me. So there's similar sexual attraction. So people are like, oh, your ex-wife is sexually attracted. Both your ex-wives find each other sexually attractive. Yeah. Okay. And this has happened before, uh, you Hefner. Before Larry Flint, okay, that women have been sexually, des des find each other desirable and take sexual comfort in other instead of fucking assholes like Larry Flint, Hugh Hefner, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, Ronald Reagan, Vladimir Putin, um, uh, George Siros, the Koch brothers, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, Richard Branson. Yeah, Okay, when they kill off the guy like King, you go, boy, say, girl, boy, say, when is he going to give us some room? Girl, say, God, I hope he comes back soon. When they kill off the Kennedys, when they poison Parsons in front of us and nobody gets up to, to help him. Um, yeah, women find sexual comfort. In which, uh, Megan Thee Stallion and, and Cardi B would rather rub VJs than be fucked by that asshole. And then they finally kick him out, like my Natalie. You know, I kicked his ass and threw him out. And I'm like, I raised her. That's my daughter. <laughs> That's my girl. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day, right? And then my Emily, you know, they're boys and girls are both yucky. I can't find anybody to trust or be nice to having a faithful, loving relationship like you told us, you know. Um, uh, and I become of age. My daddy took me to his side, said, girl, you're growing up, Sal. Pretty soon you'll be a bride. And then he said, just because you become a young woman now, right? So <laughs> it's but a... No, I'd always tell my girls, you know, make them earn being able to have babies with you and love you and find, you know, a, a heavenly state of being in, in, in your presence. You know, they have to earn it. You can't just give it away. And the guys, you know, same thing. You know, Patrick, it seems like all guys guys get screwed over. It's like, I, I, you're, I, I made you into a treasure. And if she throws that treasure away for the Bachelorette or for Tom Brady or LeBron James, that's her fault. Well, that's her loss, right? And so, uh, you know, they're, it's like Mrs. Affleck, Jennifer Lopez. Okay. If she has an ego problem and thinks, you know, I, you know, I was used to torture him, but now I'm going to be used to love him back to life. It's like, how many women in the world do you think have watched these videos and think, I want to be the one to sexually heal him? How many? Nida mia, no quiero saber. And I mean that. Okay. I really don't want to know. Because I'm not David Rockefeller. I'm not Mark Zuckerberg. I'm not Bill Gates. Okay. I'm not an asshole who invades people's houses to feel powerful. So a woman who wants to feel powerful will reproduce babies with me. I'm not a power couple, power broker asshole. You know, I'm not, I'm not Pitbull. I don't want to go rub my butt on stage against the one woman who's married and has two kids that everybody wants to fuck because they have, I will have you. Yes, I will have you. Yes. I don't let your ego get the best of you. Okay. 
when in 2017, when I took on the military, I wasn't trying to save you and your kids. You probably, you, you know, you're, you're, you're Billy Joel's, you know, she's ahead of her time. She'll carelessly cut you and laugh like you're bleeding. Amy tried to act like you. Like I was protecting Amy and Plim because Amy was supposed to be a pervert. And Steffi was supposed to be a pervert. And all the women in my life who were manipulated and got put in sexually compromising situations by the military, they're perverts. Okay, and because you feel like a sexual holy grail and a sexual athletic adventure champion, you're not a pervert. You haven't honored a wedding vow a day in your fucking life. You haven't even tried. You, you, Johnny Rodriguez, when someone tempted you, you were so way inclined, and I'll bet love and honor never crossed your mind, and it didn't. Well, your dad, my dad isn't uh, invested heavily in the Scientology watching my family be sexually groomed and abused by the military. Okay, they might use the devil's equipment to see if Earl's really a bad pervert person, if he really, you know, was found Natalie sexually desirable when they sexually manipulated her. You have to be an idiot when not to find um, you know, a, a girl that is like your wife that's not your biological offspring that wants to protect you emotionally uh, because she's been sexually abused by the military, f sexually attractive. You'd have to be like, I'd have to be dead. I'd have to be Pope Francis or um, fucking Ricky Gervais not to be sexually attracted to her. And say, oh my gosh, that's flattering. She finds she's trying to protect me sexually. She thinks I'm a, a good man. She thinks I'm the only guy in the U.S. that can save little girls from being tagged, bagged, and raped to death in Mexico, not to mention in a trailer park in Las Cruces. And she's right. I'm the only one who got up to do it. You know how lonely that is? You have no idea how lonely it is to have people go, here's what we're doing with these science projects of all these perverts and these jocks that are aggressive, sodomizing a fucker and, you know, one, two, three, four, fuck that pussy till it's sore, Marines. And you're like, God damn, this is horrible. And the women in Fort Huachuca tried to help me. But they were brain damaged from it too. The one girl came out at the bar, the, lesb the, the bisexual bar that was drunk and called me sir because she, she had that moment of, you know, hey, he's, he's going to help us. He cares about us. He's strong. He's brave. He'll stand up when no one else will. And then the two, the gorgeous black girl that came with her hot uh, blonde friend that were going to make a Ralph sandwich to get back at Amy. I didn't want to get back at Amy. I wanted to protect Amy from being bitched by all the people that they get a paycheck from and a pension from. Because I'm intelligent for crying out fucking loud. Good station. Good signal. Okay. So the way they see me is I'm just, my signal is Adam Moses, David Jesus, John. Okay. Saladin. You know, and Saladin and Pascal and stuff like that. And they show, you know, and it's obvious that Pascal is a better source of understanding and communication, okay, than um, uh, Machiavelli, than John Bunyan, than uh, Dante's Inferno. When you go read Pascal and you read Dante's Inferno, it's like Dante's Inferno is a schizophrenic episode. That, and, Pas and Pascal is like, hey, Here's what we should do, because here's what the Gospels are really about when you understand the eternal mathematics of faith and infinite glory. Okay. It's real simple. Okay. It's, it's, <laughs> it's already done. Okay. The apocalypse has been done for you. By uh, Come all ye faithful, work through Ralphie's noggin. Early junior is what they call him. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? I'm Mary Poop's boy. Take that and that. And that, <laughs> yep, better stay with fools. I'll fit all my money on any man alive that can stay a full strawberry when he takes his high dive. Right? <laughs> okay, so hey, yeah, you know me. So, well, as far as Mrs. Affleck goes, you know, bend your man, bend your, bend your guy. Um, you just feel guilty because you were a part of my abuse and then did propaganda movies with those AI creepo uh, home invading uh, perverts. You're just feeling guilty. It's just kind of like LeBron James and his survivor's remorse and all that crap. And you're like 50 Cent. You're into having sex. You're not into making love. That's okay. I'll help. Uh, you know, I'm the 1322nd Redeemer, so we'll deliver ourselves from evil with... Um, uh, the Lord's Prayer to lead us back to Genesis, Psalms, and Proverbs. 
and every religion that calls themselves a religion can agree with that because life's eternal and grace is infinite otherwise you're not a religion you're just a product of michael bay's michael cohen's george lucas's uh steven spielberg's imagination using my imagination oompa loompa loompa dee doo i've got another riddle for you <laughs> okay all you oompa loompas Alrighty then, everybody start working that pull for fuck money. <laughs> I was proud to do it. No, you weren't. You're addicted to it. Uh, trust me, I know you better than know you know you. Well, because I love you and you're not capable of it right now. But kiss us in the future. Kiss us. Give me a maybe.